which lasts 45 minutes. For the last two years, I've not been able to stand that long. Two and a half weeks into wearing the X39 patch, the pastor said, you can now be seated. It dawned on me at that moment that my goodness, I've been standing this whole time, didn't realize it. After starting using the technology for approximately two weeks, my pain completely disappeared. 32 years of pain gone in three days. I just love the products. Um, they just help me to feel younger and younger year after year. Thank God for X39. My skin become younger, softer, firmer. It's been really, really, really amazing. I love X39 because it really helped reduce the inflammation in my knee. I can now run again. Woohoo! Okay, Anne, if you want to turn your camera on, uh, good evening, everyone, and here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our health practitioner call tonight, and tonight I am joined by Henrietta Alban. Henrietta, would you join us? I'd love to tell you a little something about Dr. Alban. Dr. Henrietta is an owner of Living in Balance a holistic health and wellness practice. She does spiritual counseling, emotional counseling. She's she's a naturopath. What a joy, Henrietta, Hi, Henrietta. to have you joining us tonight. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So a yeah, little bit of internet issue. Yeah, you're skipping out already. I'm wondering if we may I have to have your camera turned off so we can at least hear you if it interferes so we might uh, want to... I... yeah. oh we just lost her hopefully she'll be back soon so our our focus um is going to be talking about x39 technology for those of you who have joined us so henrietta can can i hear you oh lost her again So my focus is going to be talking about uh, what Henrietta, how she joined, what she did, um, and we're going to talk about this technology. And what I can tell you about this technology is that we all are, we are all energetic beings. I, I, as a nurse, I've been a nurse for 45 years, I like to remind people that we're made of various forms of energy. We know the body has this electrical flow and I mean, think about EKGs, EEGs. You don't get those without, because those in particular measure electrical flow to the brain, to the heart. So in chemistry, we learn that we have minerals in the body that have negative charges, positive charges. So think about all of those things that are all about energy flow. And when our energy flow gets disrupted, rebalancing that energy flow in the body can start with the healing process from within this this helps with the cell to cell communication the body cannot heal itself when the systems are disrupted and this is about opening up those systems so that we can start to have a more balanced system so you know we have to also remember that um he when healing uh, uh healing occurs or when healing doesn't occur, I should say, and energy is blocked, we're gonna have medical conditions that will occur. We'll end up having either a pain or we'll have um, some kind of medical diagnosis, some kind of medical condition. So Henrietta, are you back with me? I am, I'm on my phone now. I think that's working much better. Thank you. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I did start talking a little bit about energy and how, uh, en how we're energetic beings and how mm -hmm. a little bit about EKG, I talked about, uh, you know, that's all electrical impulses, right? In the body, our minerals have positive, negative charges. All of those things are all about energy flow. 
what I really would love to know about you, and by the way, I'm beyond excited about having you here with me tonight. I haven't seen you in a few months. It's beautiful to be here with you, to chat with you. So what I really would love for you to share with everyone is, you know, talk about this technology. Who introduced you to it? And what made you decide to bring it into your practice? Well, I have to say it was, of course, Dr. Tom Acklin, you know, our genius neurologist. And uh, it, it took a little bit to convince me, but uh, he gave me enough patches to hang myself, so to speak. So I had no resistance left. And after I looked at uh, science and uh, tried them myself, um, I found that uh, it was so compelling. I wanted more of it. And so it's about three years now, this month, pretty much. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you, in your work, work a lot with energet energy, right, in the body. Mm -hmm. um, and you have, are you familiar with the term photobiomodulation? I'm sure you are. Maybe you could define that for us. Well, I'd be very glad to. Um, but I also wanted to say something about energy, if I may, because uh, you toned on this. Uh, and to me, energy is where everything is at, you know, our body cellular memory uh, of anything that's happened to us. Uh, and often for us, is um, uh, indisputably important and active. And the concept of energy in the body is that we all have frequencies and vibration, and every organ in the body has a different frequency. So we vibrate at different levels. And when you meet people, you often notice their energy field and or aura, right? So uh, the frequency that we feel most akin to is also very often our, our personality. You know, how do we show up in public? Are we more reticent? Are we more reserved? Are we outgoing? So all of this goes into the energy. And the piece that I like a lot is that 85% of communication happens invisibly through our energy bodies. That is just so cool, you know? <laughs> Really, and, and you know what you make me think of, because I remember working at the hospital and I used to work in mm -hmm. mental health and I would often talk to the patients about, you don't have to communicate how you feel. You walk into a room and if there's somebody that's really angry in that room or there's this you know feeling of depression, you feel that energy, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you absolutely feel that energy. So yeah, you're right on about that. It's the same way when you go into an old house and you think that there is something funny there or somebody got hurt there. And uh, so very interesting. Um, the X39 is so cool in that it, it it supports what is present, what it finds as energy and begins balancing what the priorities are. And uh, that to me made so much sense, you know, like we both work holistically. And so the idea that the body knows best how to heal itself and taking the steps to prioritize what that is makes it so fantastic because that also is the reason why everybody has different response. You yes. know, we have some, like you said, sleep better, more energy. Also in the testimonials ahead of the call, it's really truly phenomenal how it is so circumspect. It really works with each of us individually. And I can't imagine a more smart technology. <laughs> and why would we not all want it, right? <laughs> so what is yeah. photomodulation, Henrietta? What is that? Well, it's also called light therapy uh, or phototherapy. And even the infrared red light therapies fall into a similar spectrum in that there is a... Mm, let's say like the sun stimulating our our skin's response for vitamin D, the patches reflect our infrared energy back into the body. So it's, uh, you know, then people ask what's in it. Well, it's light frequency and it's a very specific frequency that uh, David Schmidt has discovered after a couple of decades of research that hits right where it's supposed to. And I think more on that later, right? Absolutely, yes. Well, let's talk about what, which, what peptide does X39 activate? It's the GHK-CU, CU standing for copper. And uh, that peptide is a uh, powerhouse. It is important to... Uh, 
appreciation for how the body heals itself, right? It's just really terrific. It's very well researched, plays an essential role in the body's healing, and KCU is in human plasma, as an essence in the plasma is essentially blood, but it's really the clear fit. Um, and it released from the tissues in case of an, in an injury. So it is a natural present healer. And uh, it was discovered in 1973 and established itself as a powerful protect and regenerative ingredient. Um, it's also in skin and hair, uh, especially regenerative cosmetics. And besides, uh, we all read the PubMed, that of stuff that um, credit is peptide with much power and it's so essential so to have activation of that peptide towards our longevity and the healing is is key to our uh, stem cell regeneration beautiful yeah who was the do you remember the physician's name that did the research on uh, copper peptide Lauren Picard, I believe. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, his name is very familiar from other work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, there's a beautiful um, place where you can do some research called the CopperPeptideBreakthrough.com. If any mm. of you are interested in digging into the science, it's a great place to get more research about that copper peptide. And X39 is amazing for activating that peptide. So talk about these patches, you know, what are they made of? How do they work? And well, they you... work again by, uh, huh? Sorry? I want to show what they look like for those people who've never seen them. It's just a little patch, right? Yeah. So around the surrounding is, uh, is a hypoallergenic um, adhesive. Uh, which also makes it possible for you to wear it on clothing. It doesn't have to be on the skin proper. And uh, the little center inside is uh, a nest of light frequency, if you will. It is, uh, it's, it's activating through our infrared heat the very, it's, it's almost like a shot across the bow without putting anything into the body. Right, it is not. It's not putting anything into the body to heal. It is light frequency that matches our energy, and uh, does does its job there. And well, it's uh, transdermal doesn't enter the body, right? I'm sorry. It's it's non transdermal doesn't enter the body. Henrietta, do you want to turn your camera off because you're still skipping a little bit? Will do. So a non-transdermal patch does not enter the body. Transdermal means that it does come into the body. In this case, this is non-transdermal, correct? Correct. Yes, there's no substance that enters the body through the skin. It is light therapy and really uh, <laughs> anyone who has never heard of it has to just has to appreciate the miracle of such a transmission because most of us are familiar from the medical system that... Uh, nothing gets absorbed through the skin. It is a fallacy. Everything gets absorbed through the skin. The fact that you have water gets absorbed, the substances in water get absorbed through the skin. So in all of this, uh, the, the energy and the light frequencies are what puts these things together in that it's, it's a message, right? It's a message for the body and it oh. goes ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So um, a lot of people will ask me, and I'm sure you've had these same questions. They'll mm -hmm. ask, you know, I'm on medications. Is this a problem for me to use these patches? What would you say? Not at all. The patches have nothing to do with digestive ability, right? And all the medication goes through the digestive system and have a completely different pathway than the light frequencies do. And that is on purpose. It is a very intelligent uh, technology that is intent on healing the body outside of using the body's internal organs. Perfect, perfect. I know I have, my 93 year old mom is on several <laughs> and I, I never worry about it because it doesn't, in fact, we've been able to get her down to uh, uh, you know, a couple meds. So she's you know, been able to improve things over time. 
How long could these patches be worn? Uh, do you change them every day? Yeah, I do. I mean, 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And one of the reasons for that is it's not about uh, anything other than the body wants it stimulated into stem cell activation, meaning regular cells become the stem cells and allow for a better reproduction of the cellular structure, um, which is super important for those of us uh, who've had access chronic issues all our lives and or are simply in great shape but getting older you know there is a decline uh, due to a number of uh, issues in globally health wise medically and uh, even food wise so we all know what that's like and in order to be able to sustain our longevity and our alignment with well-being we are in that uh, we need we need to be fortified 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And why, why do you, why is it important to move it for those, that period? Well, of time? there is, the body in essence um, needs to rest and adjust to the effect that the stem cells have had. And uh, the second piece to that is if you leave the patch on too long on a regular basis, it becomes ineffective. So mm -hmm. it's not smart, it's not a smart way uh, of your investment. Beautiful. What else is important when wearing the patches? Water, hydration, that's where you're going, right? Um, it's funny because when I heard this, and in so many ways, the energy technologies that exist, not just the patches, but other energy technologies in the, in the healing field require that we drink a lot of water because the minerals that are essential for the electric transport of energy, right? Uh, it, it's no different with the patches. And the body is a unique energy transport system and it works with proper hydration. It's an electrical piece, by the way. And, uh, you know, so it needs, it needs to, it needs water. So half your body weight in fluid ounces of clean water. And I like that, you know, clean water, because today I was talking to somebody, Henrietta, that said that they drank you know, like cups of coffee all day long and string their day up with a cup of coffee and they ask is that a good thing to do <laughs> and, <laughs> and of course i said no but i would love to hear what you might say to that individual uh, if they sh shared with you that they don't like water what would be your suggestion i would suggest that they stop the coffee so in order not to run home with a huge headache, which is caffeine is a very important piece for those who drink coffee or Coke regularly. Mega headaches are the norm when you stop. So you want to, it's like a drug. You want to um, s siphon off some. So what I usually recommend there is um, do a third less every day, a third less every other day, and then make more space in between and have just a little nip, maybe a half a cup instead of a, you know, like, like people who say I've had a drink and I only had one drink and I go with my arm, I go like, how, how tall was it? You know, it's, uh, it's from the recovery world that we know the story. Uh, and so you slowly wean yourself off. It doesn't have to be painful. You put just a little bit of caffeine in it so that you stop the headache and you know within three weeks or so if you've been an addict like that you should be okay and uh, coffee is a dehydrator coffee is a stimulator coffee is an adrenal exhaustion causer uh what else yeah well, mineral depletion right <laughs> I would oh say. yeah all of that yeah yeah so we we talked about wearing the patch 12 hours on, 12 hours off. We talked about hydration and minerals. And what else? What else is important? Is there something, you know, should can people wear them like one day and then not wear them again? And the, how is no. this? You know what? People think that they're, I don't know, some people have felt in my circles that they will save money and have one on only every other day. So the 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 <laughs> The regulation or the, what do we call this? The suggestion that we have is that if you are someone with a chronic issue for every decade 
of that issue, you take a month of the patches. Now, many people will say, well, it was not chronic all my life. So what I tend to go with is, all right, so I'm late 60s. Uh, I really want the patch for six to seven months for sure. My recommendation is six months to 12 months. And if somebody is, uh, I just talked to someone today, you know, she's wondering, well, my friend in Seattle has such great expect uh, expectations and lo and behold, it worked for her, right? Because she wanted to believe that it will work. Whatever happened that convinced my friend locally was really that her husband broke his ankle and they were trying to travel and she gave him X39 that she had left at a recent visit. And she said, put this on right on the ankle. He was so amazed. His ankle healed. It was, uh, you know, they were gone for about two weeks. Um, it was set. It was a simple fracture. It was nothing that needed surgery. Uh, he uh, was able to sleep. The pain uh, was minimal. And uh, they enjoyed a great vacation. So now my friend locally said, okay, so... Maybe I should go on there too. And should I? I said, you take it every single day, 12 hours off, 12 hours on, and see what happens. Yeah. And you know what? Another piece, I'm sorry, another piece there, uh, Anne, is that uh, many people don't know their bodies. Yes, for sure. I totally agree. So, mm -hmm. I think that we've yeah. been, I think in, you know, because I've been, I worked medicine for a long time, and I think in medicine, we, kind of taught people to rely on the doctor for our health instead of teaching us to to sort of pay attention to our bodies pay attention to what it's doing and that we have a lot of power to heal and, and recover from our own illnesses you know if we do the right things we take the right steps right so the I, technology of the go ahead i'm sorry i just wanted to say yes and the technology of the life wave patches is um, consummately perfect for such long-standing issues as age. <laughs> yeah, and what you just said, I mean, for me, when I started using the X39 patch, I didn't notice a whole lot till my sixth month, you know, and I'm 71, so it took a while, uh, but, you know, it's been over three years for me, and I've actually gotten better vision my, you know, I had a film over my eyes. It's gone. My physician said it's gone. He said that my near vision improved. And that was using the patches every day consistently, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, hydrating, doing all the things you just talked about, right? That's what really helped me kind of create my personal story. So it's exciting that when you do this consistently over time, the changes that can happen are amazing, simply amazing. I agree with you. I've had uh, very good uh, results similar to you. I realized the other day, I don't want to wear my glasses unless I am reading. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, at night, I don't want to wear them at all. I see better at night without my glasses than with them. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Uh -huh. So who can use this technology? Everybody. <laughs> the only thing I should worry cats, about? And, cats and dogs, humans and horses, Probably elephants too. I don't know if that's ever been tried. <laughs> Anybody really has a, an energy system, you know, an energy body. Uh, I think it's um, it's a universal. In the, the reason it's a universally ac applicable technology, I think because everything is energy and information and the patches fit right in there what is energy information our bodies are energy and information because of the 85 percent of water that we ideally are and the patch technology is energy and information beautiful so i have a little granddaughter who's four years old and she was she had an earache this week and we patched her with the x39 and she got better <laughs> so you know it's quite amazing how we can use these patches with our little ones as well as the older population or anybody in between right is there any absolutely that, is there anyone that that we get concerned about at all the only concern is with many substances that are beneficial 
for people who have been ill. So the body will get very uh, happy when it is allowed to cleanse. And so in the cleansing process, the stuff we don't want that are at the root of our problems obviously need to get somewhere. So in leaving the body, it will go through the skin, through the breast, through the sweat, through the feces and urine. And sometimes when there is a bit more than uh, they'd like to be, when they're going too fast, uh, then it would be wise to use the X39 maybe for a few hours, start with six, and then maybe do the next day, the rest of the six. You can reuse the patches. And if you intend to do that, and maybe for the first few times until you're more familiar how you're responding, you might just take one half of the adhesive on the back off and simply allow that uh, to be completely peeled the day after. Correct. So, you know, I have somebody you, you it reminded me, you know, with what you what you said was perfect because it reminded me of a friend who uh, used the X39 patch and she's been not well since she was a teenager and she's 58. And when we patched her, she called me and said, what's going on? And I said, well, you tell me what's going on. And she said, my skin is erupting. And, and it remind what you just said reminded me of the fact that she was going through a healing crisis, right? Mm -hmm. And the body yeah. was trying to clear those toxins. And it, and sometimes when the liver can't handle it, the skin's got to handle it. So we see these rashes. So what we did with her is that we did the same thing that you just said. We had her go, you know, a couple hours a day till she could tolerate it. She moved up to four hours and it took her a month to get to a full 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And she did it fully for the second month and called me at the end of that month and said, oh my God, Anne, my, she's had bowel issues since she was a teenager. And she said, my bowels have never been this good ever. So it was really remarkable, you know, working with her, getting her through that crisis, getting her to drink more water and move into the healing area. So thank you for that, Henrietta. That's perfect. Is there you're, any, you're go ahead. Uh, I said you're welcome. I'm sorry for all this uh, delay here. I, it's going to get better, I promise. Maybe next time it will be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you have another story you might share with the community, something that you've per personally witnessed over the past few years? I know you and Dr. Tom have done, you know, different booths and events at different places. And I'm wondering if there's any stories that you'd like to share tonight with the community. Well, definitely, there's the story of uh, one overweight person that uh, who is part of uh, an entrepreneurial association I helped co-found. And uh, when he came, um, he was terribly overweight, obese, the kindest man you want. And within two years of it, he had heart surgery and he needed knee replacement. And so I approached him with the patches. And he's been for the past, I want to say, two years consistently using them. So he is now ready. And for some people, it takes longer than others. But he's now ready to actually look at his diet and how he eats and better lifestyle and all of that. So for him, he healed faster from his heart surgery. His knee uh, recovered very easily. Uh, there were a couple of other things that were going on. And uh, he lost weight. Beautiful. You know, I've yeah. heard that before, Henrietta, with, I mean, I, I've had people say to me, I get, I have gotten this clarity of mind. And because of that, I'm making decisions in my life I never would have made, you know, so there's this sense of well-being using the patch. Yeah. I have that too. Beautiful. So before yeah. we close the call, is there any like last minute advice or other comment you might want to make at this point? I think, so this is mine, you know, we each have to try out what works for me. Is that none of us are consistent all the time. And when we are not consistent, and then, you know, like, let's say consistent with uh, even water intake, consistent with exercise or yoga or being in the fresh air or grounding with your feet in the soil, in the surf or, or uh, on the grass. 
Um, I have to say that the patches and the X39 in particular have helped me to contain my stamina and continue to do what I needed to do without having me have any kind of yo-yo effect, you know, going up or down. So I found also that breathing exercises and intentional visualization of gratitude go a long way to improve our lives. And whenever I do take something, I imbue it with my intention that it should heal and help me. Beautiful. I love that. That is so perfect. So Dr. Henrietta, would you put in the chat your information? If anybody would like to reach out to Dr. Henrietta, you know, personally to get any kind of information, uh, or if you'd like to work with her, she certainly is open to doing that, I'm sure. She would be happy to work with you. Of course, it will be a fee, you know, with anyone that you're reaching out to. So if you could do that, Henrietta, that would be, you know, beautiful. And I, I would love to. Uh, I don't ahead. know. I don't know. You don't know how to get to the chat? No, I'm on my phone and it's not letting me. It's not. Oh, here we go. Got it. Got it. I'm going. Somebody just put oh. it on. You? Yes, thank you so much. Thanks for <laughs> so it's all you guys are perfect. That's terrific. I know. So I just want to thank you, Henrietta, for taking the time tonight to be with us, to answer all the questions, to sort of clarify, you know, all about X39, what's expected, what to do. Um, you know, stay connected with this community. You can learn a whole lot. There's always, you know, ways that you can learn. There's all kinds of other Zooms that you can get on. Ask whoever invited you tonight to go ahead and share the, that with you so that you can continue learning more. So thank you, Henrietta, for this tonight, for this beautiful interview. Uh, I've really enjoyed talking with you again. Um, and I just want to say good night to all. Thank you very much. And good night to all from me too. Bye now. <laughs>